in preparation for tonight's uh, live television broadcast by President Trump, his uh, folk have been out uh, making the rounds, trying to lay the groundwork uh, about why this uh, issue at our southern border, why this demand for a wall by the president is uh, because of a true national security emergency. So we started... Uh, I, I guess it was on the Sunday shows with Sarah Sanders uh, claiming that 4,000 terrorists have been, um, you know, have come across the borders, the borders in uh, the last year, um, to which immediately uh, Chris Wallace, the uh, Fox host that was interviewing her, debunked and said, I did my homework on that. That is not correct. Those people uh, did not come through the southern border. They primarily came uh through airports, not even ports of entry at borders with by driving, but airports, which brings me to a, a whole other thought. If walls are the answer to stopping terrorism from coming into the country, maybe we just need more walls inside the airport at like where you check in with the TSA and the, and the um, you know, customs. Maybe there needs to be some walls in there. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like you come out of the the little terminal thing off the plane right into a wall. and just straight up you right just put you in single file lines with 10 foot steel walls between you right or That's maybe you just can't even when you get off the plane there's just a wall <laughs> and there's no door and everyone just has to stand well, there still slats but yeah you're right right because we want to be able to see through it okay steel steel slats and then you have to like pass your passport through the slat to the guard on the other side who then if you can come in. We'll open a secret special like tunnel door for you where you can crawl down underneath and come through. Come on. Uh, OK. In any case, I digress with my silliness. But um, Vice President Pence was the next step to try to peddle really the same exact lie. Take a listen. Nearly 4,000 known or suspected terrorists were apprehended attempting to come into the United States through various means in the last well, year. Overwhelmingly at airports, not at the border. Yeah, but 3,000. Uh, special interest individuals, people with suspicious backgrounds that may suggest terrorist connections, were apprehended at our southern border. Last year alone, 17,000 individuals with criminal histories were apprehended at our southern border. Now, I don't have the uh, fact-checking capability that some folks on the internet and some of the big news uh, outlets do, but I can tell you that those are numbers that are vastly uh, th- he's he's taking numbers that are not really indicative of terrorism and being so vague in general that he's basically lying. Yeah, I mean, for all intents and purposes, he's lying as that. First of all, he clearly didn't watch Sarah Sanders get grilled by Chris Wallace or he would have taken a different tact. But the four thousand number as every you know, interviewer keeps pointing out is has nothing to do with the southern border. Nothing. The 4,000 number is, first of all, not terrorists. It's people on a watch list, essentially, uh, you know, who are who are persons of interest for some reason. And they have mostly come in through airports. But a lot of them also are just people from questionable parts of the country. Um, and the 17,000 number that he's tossing out there is... Uh, no, these, these are not murderers or gang members. The the criminal records of the 17,000 people who uh, have been stopped at the border, many of those are the crime they committed was coming into the U.S. illegally. Duh. <laughs> How do you count that in the number? Um, yeah. So, I mean, so, okay. Uh, it's just hard to even bother debunking some of this stuff. It looks like you're ready to do some debunking over there. Okay, just just from the Homeland Security website, yes. they explain that a special interest alien is very different from a known or suspected terrorist. Correct. In the known or suspected terrorist section of this article I found, I can't find a single number. However, they do say roughly 3,000 special interest aliens were stopped at the southern border. But that just says those are people who may pose a risk because of their travel patterns. It doesn't actually say anything about the number of actual criminals being, you know, detained coming across the southern border. It even says in the article from Homeland Security, most of these people that are known or suspected terrorists come in through the air. Right. So this is from 
his right. department. And by the way, even those who have come through the southern border came through a port of entry. They did not actually cross illegally at a wall where there would be a wall, uh, at a possible wall. No, they came through the port of entry. That's how they were stopped. That's how they were counted. That's how we know. That's where they were stopped. So um, the Trump himself, uh, from a recent news conference in the Rose Garden, I think it was Friday, said, quote, we have terrorists coming through the southern border because they find that's probably the easiest place to come through. They drive right in and they make a left. That's a quote from the president. Uh, the uh, Associated Press fact checker says, <clears throat> if they're driving in through border crossings, no wall would stop them. But as to the broader point, U.S. officials have not cited evidence of any kind of terrorist influx from Mexico. There are a bunch of different reports that are essentially refuting these claims. The Cato Institute, which is uh, a libertarian group, also has said, uh, you know, essentially no to all of these facts. Uh, the 4,000 that the known or suspected terrorists that Sarah Huckabee Sanders and um, and and uh, Mike Pence are claiming are just flat wrong. They're just exaggerated and have very little, if anything, to do with the southern border. In fact, I heard a report today uh, that I can't quote the source for you right now, but uh, and I don't have the exact numbers, but said something like, uh, 12 potential terrorists in reality were stopped at the southern border and 40 or more, 40-ish, at the Canadian border. So maybe we need a wall at the Canadian border as a, <laughs> as a suggestion. In fact, there is more worry that, 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 that terrorists are coming in through Canada than through Mexico. So what is going on here? What is going on? I don't think the president wants to go to the northern border because it's cold. He <laughs> likes to travel south. We know that. He likes going to Mar-a-Lago or whatever it is in Florida. He's already made an announcement that in addition to his TV appearance tonight, he's going to make a trip, uh, I believe, tomorrow. Or no, I'm sorry, Thursday, I believe it is, to the uh, southern border. So uh, he just probably doesn't want to go north or the whole thing would have been, you know, against Canada. You know he would love to uh, throw up some kind of something between him and Trudeau.